Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about integrating Boxy into Windows Media Center. Uh, Windows Media Center is basically a, uh, a portal where you can use uh, different music, movies, pictures from your computer. You can also watch internet TV, integrate some Netflix and a few things, but Boxy is another application that allows you to add applications uh, to the Media Center and uh, be able to control everything with the remote control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this to, uh, Media Center and pull up the Boxy's website. So when you go to the Boxy website, it's going to basically look like this little box right here. You can buy them at the store, but uh, why go buy it when you can get it for free? And as you can see, you can buy it there. Uh, you can get live TV on it, you can get it for the iPad. And what I'm going to do here is all you need to do is go to the very bottom and uh, you're going to install a uh, software. So we're, right here it says free download. Just click on that, and I have a Windows PC, and I'm gonna skip and go right to downloads. Now, if you notice, it's downloading right here. It's about 81 megabytes. Uh, once that's completed, you should get a screen that looks similar to this right here. So, what I'm gonna do is just walk through the little setup here. Of course, agree with it and everything, and uh, let it go ahead and install. Now, once it installs you're going to see where you can use Boxy and then uh, I'll show you how to actually integrate it into that media center you can use your remote control or the mouse to watch all the different uh, parts there so okay actually I went and installed Boxy here it is on my desktop I'm gonna double click on it and I've already logged in so uh, I have my protection my uh, information so this is what Boxy looks like and you can use a remote control the cool thing about it is you have apps and that's what a lot of people like now um, you can kind of scroll through here is like 244 apps and uh, you can go over here to your favorites and basically kind of reset this up the way you like it uh, another thing is I like is that if you have files in your computer you can actually find your uh, your sources of your files like uh, any remote hard drives you have or your desk top or whatnot you can actually uh, play those right through the boxy as well uh, and some other things you can do is like uh, I don't want to do that you can add your friends like from Facebook Twitter and that stuff and this will show like their feed so if you have a friend that updates uh, Twitter or, or um, you know Facebook all the time all the videos that they post will actually come on here in order to do this you must Go to the boxy.tv um, application, I mean, on the website, and you have to sign in and give it permission, uh, just like you do any other kind of apps. Now I got this integrated, and the thing now is I want to be able to use my remote control to go to Windows Media Center. So, exit out, and if I hit on the Media Center again, you'll see there's no boxy in here. So, now what you want to do is pull up your web browser again and go to this URL up here uh, you'll see it in the, the video here and download the free boxy integrator and then you're going to actually run this file right here you minimize this so you can see it uh, some of these files are not digitally signed by Microsoft but uh, some good developers out there uh, I'm never going to say anything is trustworthy but you can always try it on your own I've been using it for a few years now so it seems to work pretty good for me so I'm going to go ahead and install that. Oh, and by the way, you want to make sure your media center is closed in the process. So I'm going to exit out of that and let it finish installing here. Um, and once it's installed, I'll bring back the video here. Let's see what you think. Okay, now we're back. Uh, let's see if uh, I'm going to open up the Windows Media Center. And as far as uh, the integrator, once it's installed, it just asks you to close it. And once you close it, it's gone. So and it embeds itself already. So I'm going to open up the media center here, see what we get. Voila, there's Boxy right there now. Let's see if it works. I'm going to grab my remote control and uh, hit the OK button. Let's see what happens. Now it should exit out of the window center. It did. And uh, now it's open up Boxy again. Now I can use all the files like before. Now, 
let's exit out Boxy and see if it goes back into the Windows Media Center. That's what this whole video is all about. Exit out there and see what happens. There you go, Media Center open back up. So now I can still use all of the Media Center features in there. So hope this video helps you out how to use Boxy. Uh, I use it on two TVs here in my place and uh, it's great so I can actually record everything on one uh, one DVR in my in my main server and then be able to uh, play it back on any of my TVs and the Boxy works good for my Pandora account so I can listen to music to entertain people and things like that so I uh, appreciate you watching my videos and I uh, look forward for more in the future